Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're here with Melody Warrior and our character Saga Sparrow Dawn. And we are getting ready to continue our adventures learning how to basically take care of our horses, how to do well in Star Stable, what missions, what adventures. So far all I know is that we are in charge of trying to help out around this stable. So we're here in Yorovik at Moreland Stable, trying to become like a good stable hand for the summer. And I say the summer because that's what the story says, even though as you can see, there's so many adorable Christmas decorations scattered everywhere. So let's see, Melody Warrior, let's go ahead. We're gonna leave you somewhere. Man, I love seeing all the horses everywhere. It's just so cool. We're gonna leave her somewhere and do our daily chores really quickly. And good news, you guys! I have actually figured out what server I'm on, and the answer is Windstar. So I am on the Windstar server. Let's go ahead and dismount Melnywhere. I will be back in just a minute. I need to hurry and just complete a few little questies. Like little daily chores, I think they are. So let's see. Mucking out the stable. I can totally start doing that. I know how to feed the horses now. I have no money. I am a poor, poor, poor person. So I definitely want to get all of these daily quests. Because <laughs> I really, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Oh good, there's the mucking out the stable, like, shovel. Oh, look at all that poop. Alright, let's go ahead. Inventory. Good, and then we just scoop it up. <laughs> that cracks me up. I'm just laughing because it's like, oh, how is it everything I do, every game I ever play, we definitely have some poop to scoop at some point. But I'm really happy to be able to do all of this too because, let's take care of this, it is just, it's fun, it's immersive. I love details and these are details and here's the hay. We're going to do our chores for the day so I can be a good stable hand and then we will go ahead and we will continue figuring out what we are supposed to be doing to complete all of our little quest missions. And aren't you a lovely horse? Wow. So we'll be getting to work on that in just a second. All right, come over here. Need to feed and water you. Water and feed. Come here, come here, feed. Right there, good, good, good. But yeah, I'm having a great time. And thank you guys so much for letting me know how I need to take care of Melody Warrior. And that is actually by coming on every single day and taking care of her so that she is not uh, all by her lonesome, so that she can have all of her, let's go ahead and put some food in here, all of her needs taken care of. Come on, food. Are you not gonna go in here? That's right, the food doesn't go in this one. Hello, handsome horse. All right, the food, ah, there we go. She was standing in front of it. That's why I was confused. I was like, I see it glowing, but I don't know what to do. Can I not reach it? All right, come on, get in there. There we are. All right, pardon me, horse. Let's go ahead and collect our little bit of money. How much money do I have? 170 coins now. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to need those coins. All right, and Jenna. Jenna, hold still for a second. All right, there we go. Mucking out the stable. Completed. Feeding the horses. Completed. Watering the horses. Completed. Yes! Alright! Oh, yay! And I love that reputation thing. So I take it you can do like more once you get more reputation. Where, here's my reputation. So we're almost out of the neutral zone with Moreland Stable. So I, that's kind of fun. I really like the idea that we're able to give like some sort of impression to them over how we're doing. Um, and Melanie Warrior, I am probably going to be logging in because I don't want Melanie Warrior to be sad. I'm probably going to be logging in like all the time to take care of Melanie Warrior now, which means you guys are probably going to see a lot more. Melanie Warrior? Where did I leave Melanie Warrior? I forgot. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. She's over here. That's right. So you guys are probably going to be seeing a lot more Star Stable episodes. And if you guys are interested in that, then please let me know. There you go, sweetie. I need to go buy her some hay. Oh, I'm so excited. It's the first time I've ever had to, like, actually go and get hay for her. Oh, gosh. This will be a new skill to learn. All right. Here's some water from our little bucket. I'm going to go fill it up with more water so that we have it prepared when we need it. Um, let's come over. Fill in the bucket up. There we go. Oh man, I love all the details. But yeah, if you guys are interested in lots and lots and lots of awesome Star Stable like episodes and little adventures going down, then let me know because that'll really help with what to share with you guys. All right, so I wanna buy, oh man, I can definitely not afford a hay bale. It's 50 whole coins. <laughs> That's almost everything I've earned for the day. All right, we're gonna pay with our shillings and I'm actually gonna buy, can I get her like a special treat? 
Um, an apple to feed our horse? Uh, I'm gonna have to get her a special treat when we can afford a special treat. Now is not the time. I do not have enough, do not have enough to be able to afford special treats for her, unfortunately. But I did some shopping for the very first time. All right, Melody Warrior, let's go ahead. I'm gonna feed you really quickly. Come on, can I, can I not feed her? Eh, eh, I mean, wait, hey, yeah, feed our horse when your horse is hungry. Aren't you hungry, Melody Warrior? I thought, I thought we haven't done all of our chores. Yeah, I need to feed my horse some food. Here's some hay. How do I give, ah, oh, there we go. It was just being stubborn. There she goes. Now she's taken care of. All right, well that is done. We have plenty of water. We've got a little bit more hay. I definitely need to start moving and grooving. Oh, wow, that horse was so fast and she had green stuff on. That was so cool. I definitely need to start moving and grooving it so that we can get more supplies and get more money. I don't think mucking out the stables is gonna cut it in the end. So what little missions, oh my gosh, that was pretty. What missions and things do we need to do? Those are all the incoming messages. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's just like chat. Um, let's see. Yep, quest log. There we go. So available, a word with Thomas. And we need to go speak. Oh, yeah, to Thomas. That's right. And tools of the trade with Conrad. So let's go and find Thomas, who's in charge of the stables, I believe. He was over here, wasn't he? But he doesn't have a little quest thing over his head. So, Melody Warrior, maybe I'm not doing this right. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're ready to talk with him. So, I guess I need to go speak with Justin again. You do reset some of the quests, I hear, if you leave the area. Like I had to before they're done. But yeah, I'm... Oh, there's candy canes everywhere. I love discovering new things. I love doing new things. So this is totally A-OK -okay with me to do Star Stable much more often, if that's what you guys would like. All right. All right, we gotta go see Thomas. I've told him about the great job. Yep, yep, yep. This is what he said yesterday. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go meet with Thomas now. So let's go get to work on that. All right, come on, Melody. And we are probably gonna become Star Riders with so much support and so much excitement. It tells me you guys would like me to spend some time here in this beautiful world, adventuring, listening to the gorgeous music. Look at all the little hoof prints on the ground. Details, details, I love them. And so it is worth it then to become a star rider. Thank you for coming so fast, Saga. The situation with Mr. Kimball from GED is getting out of hand and I need your help. I, okay, I just was mucking stables and now I'm being promoted to handling like really complicated financial and legal issues, but that's okay. All right, um, this is troubling. That slimy vulture, Mr. Kimball, plan has plans to evict us all and raise Moreland stables to the ground. No, it's so pretty here. I mean, I love the little like, market that they've got going on over here too. It's just adorable. I've just got word he has almost convinced the city council and I'm running out of time to stop him. Even as we speak, his despicable pack of land surveyors are setting up their equipment so they can make a detailed map and present it to the city's hall. I know I have the legal rights to this land, but I need more time to get the documents in order. Oh no, this is the dangers of not being organized, guys. Will you help me save Moreland Stable Saga? We need to delay Mr. Kimball's land surveyors to win some time. All you need to do is switch off their G- Oh my gosh, this is kind of like serious. Like going over and switching off their equipment is kind of like big deal. Okay, uh, we'll do it. We'll get great experience points for this. And he's just gonna give- Can't you at least give us enough to buy some hay? That's not even enough to buy some hay. And you're asking us to like go over and, and finagle with some questionable legal moves there. But all right, let's go ahead and do that. Get them out by Friday received, which means orange areas show where there are things to do or interact with on the quest. Click the map in the horseshoe to see, let's see, a large map. Okay, so we need to head towards the forest that way then. All right. Oh gosh, the music got so intense. All right, Melody Warrior, I guess we're doing this. Oh, there she is again with the beautiful tail and the jumping. All right, so the forest. I know the mines are over here. GPS equipment, huh? Hmm. Where's the GPS equipment? I think it's gonna be a little bit more. So we just kinda need to locate it. Oh gosh, we can ride off the paths. I didn't know we could do that. All right, so GPS equipment. Orange areas, things to interact with. Do I just need to kind of look around over here? 
All right, Melanie Warrior, we're hunting for the land surveyors. Aha! All right, there they are. Oh, jeez. All right, come on, Melanie Warrior, can you get down here? Are we stuck? Okay. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, hang on. Oh, dizzy inducing. That's when being able to run would have really helped. Okay, so we're gonna sneak over here. Maybe if I come over on her. There we go. We turned off one of them. Let's just uh, casually. You know, you don't know who who did it. You don't know who did it. There's so many girls on horses around here. All right. Let's see. Oh, hey, this is the guy at the forge. Oh, we found it. We found Moreland Forge. Oh my gosh, it's very pretty. All right, hello, Mr. Conrad. Uh, I guess you would be super important here because you're like taking care of the horses. Ooh. We'll talk to him. Well, hello there. Greetings to you and your fine steed. You look young and strong. Maybe you could help me with a small task. Just the other day, my old assistant Patrick was bringing me a shipment of the finest tools from Jor Jorvik stables. He was almost here when one of those dastardly bobcat girls <laughs> came racing down the, the, the uh, Damascus Mine Road and almost rode him down. He got so scared he ran all the way here but dropped all the tools along the way. He's not a brave man and now refuses to go out there, so my new tools are just laying out there somewhere, rusting away. I don't have time to go look for them myself, but maybe you could do it for me? I would be forever in your gratitude, young lady. I see how it is, sir. A hammer, a clincher, and a shiny mine pick. All right, so we'll go ahead. We're gonna be getting so much stuff, so much. I'm poor Melanie Warrior. I'm so sad Melanie Warrior's mood is bad. We'll work on that too. All right, well, I ran into the first GPS equipment piece and we turned it off. So let's go ahead. Is it gonna be along here? There's a bunch of wood on the ground. Can I do anything about that? No. Hmm. Melody Warrior, apparently there's- oh, here we go. Okay, just casually. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Oh my gosh, there's Thomas Moreland again? Okay, maybe his twin? All right, that guy is just gonna have to ignore us. I'm pretty sure this isn't entirely legal, but I'm pretty sure trying to steal like the land the stable is on just because of land documentations. Attention! A man with, uh, oh, oh, there's like a little attention thing. And apparently we can get in trouble for this? Oh boy. I better be paying more attention. We're gonna try to lose them. Nyamers Highland, Miss Holdsworth's house. That is really cute. Switch off the GPS equipment. Oh, we do need to do it without being seen. Without the GED men seeing you. Oh gosh. Oh, whoa, so pretty and fast. Oh, seeing them race around really makes you want to like become a star rider so that you can start doing the really pretty, the really pretty things. All right, probably gonna need to come down here. That area is closed off. Aha, there's a tool. So let's go ahead and pick this up. All right, I've picked up the clincher. That area is blocked off, that's fine. Um. Let's see, apparently there's more tools laying around. This is a good way to be able to explore everything. And I kind of want to, oh, 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 there's something over here. The pick, there we go. I want to finish up the turning off of all of the pieces thing really quickly. Is that going to be down here? Whoa, Melody Warrior, I'm sorry. She says, no way am I going to ride down that tree. Sorry, Melody Warrior. Still learning how to ride on her appropriately so just one more it's kind of fun being like naughty and like messing with their GPS stuff all right let's see is it over here Woo, melody warrior all right we already turned that one off is there and that one already turned it off where's the last one I should probably be following the orange spots on the map more carefully so he's wandering down here. I should be following where he's going. And then got one right here. Got one right there. Yeah? Aha, there it is. All right. He's right there though, so I guess I have to wait a minute. Don't mind me. Just a girl on a horse. I guess we have to wait for him to like walk away. Don't do it yet. Oh yeah, she. W I thought she was going to do it. Look at all these beautiful horses. And imagine being able to jump too. That would be so nice. 
Maybe that's what she was waiting for too. All right. Penelope, we're in this together. There we go. All right, so we have now finished that up. I wonder now what do we need to do? Do we need to go talk to Thomas again? We're going up some levels, which is pretty exciting. I am level two. I just noticed that. Let's go see if we can collect the last of those tools real quick. Now that we're figuring out how to handle. Oh, and there's little spots on the map now for where I see it. There's spots on the map for where like the quest can be completed. And we'll probably go racing in just a little bit too. All right, what about over here? So Bobcat girls scared him into dropping everything. So let's see, around here. Whoa, cactus, cactus. Aha, there it is. There we go, so I'm figuring out how to handle the map. All right, tools of the trade, got everything for that. Where are we? It's pretty down here. Oh wow, look how pretty. Oh, easy there, Melody Warrior, easy there. All right, look, can we go up there? Do you wanna go up? Oh my gosh, more spotted horses. Melody, isn't that awesome? I wonder how many horses you can have. I really don't know yet. Everything is just such a pretty adventure at this, like this point. All right. Look at that, whoa, right into a tree, that's fine. That's fine, or a rock, I should say, not a tree. <laughs> All right, Melanie, let's go ahead. We're gonna get back, go complete these quests. I need to figure out how to ride her a little more gently because I keep trying to go off spots where she's just like, are you kidding? We're going off a cliff. All right, there we go. All right, we've got this, we've got this. No need to worry. Let's just go around this way. Lots of cute little flowers. Man, I would love just to start exploring a bit more, but we do need to complete things. As usual, I get easily distracted because I have so much fun being able just to see like all of the plants, all of the places we can look at. I think there's a plane in the sky up there. Huh. All right, we're doing good. Oops, sorry, Melanie Warrior. I was trying to decide where I wanted to go and instead of going left or right, I just like rode straight into a fence. Oh my gosh, I really rode into a fence. Melanie Warrior? Very sorry about that. We can't jump to like get loose either. There we go. We got kind of stuck on the fence, which is silly. Oh gosh, it's so, it's so newbish, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go finish the Out by Friday quest and see where we're at. All right, there we go. Much better. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit painful, you guys, as I start figuring everything out, learning the ropes. All right, let's come back over to Mr. Thomas over here. He looks happy. Splendid, good work. I truly appreciate it. This will delay them for a while. Now I've got a little time to at least build my case against Mr. Kimball and the city council. Wonderful, look at that, we had so much experience. Good, 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 and some coins. Can't you give me enough for hay? What am I going to do, Saga? Mr. Kimball is putting the pressure on me about those legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I just had a little more time. Hmm, maybe a harmless sabotage. You, Mr. Thomas, if you put nearly as much like effort into into just like organizing your paperwork as you do into sabotage and counter like counter plots, then maybe we'd be able to get things done a little bit better. If he wants to play rough, I'll show him that he has met his match. The power center at one of the power line poles where the road makes a turn into the construction site. There should be a switch for turning off the power line that supports the construction site with electricity. Oh my gosh, even the advertising board is a bonus. This should buy us some valuable time. Five, five coins, five shillings for doing something so dangerous and legally questionable, sir. I don't know about this man. He, he is of questionable legality. That's, that's my opinion on him from now on. All right, well that's done at least. Let's go see if we can do a quick race because you guys told me that racing Melody Warrior would really help with being able to get her experience up. So Tan, um, can, returning, choose task. Hmm. All right, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep, we're gonna ride the stable track because it gives excellent experience to Melody. So that's what we really want. All right, Melody, let's try to go a little faster than last time. I don't know if we're gonna have any luck though. There we go, come on. There we go. So apparently if you do this every day, it'll give her really great experience. That makes me so excited. 
And I know she's kind of an older horse because many of you guys have pointed out that these are the older horses and over the years they have improved the uh, animations for the newer horses and made it so that they look a lot nicer. They're smoother, their move movements are just like more smooth, their skins look better. So I'm getting, like, the more you guys talk about it and the more you guys tell me about, like, the things that you really love about playing Star Stable, the more excited I really get uh, about doing my best to just see what enjoyment, what fun, what adventures I can get to on my own here, too. Are we almost there? Yes! All right! It's a new personal best! Good job, Melanie Warrior! Good, it's still just one second faster than last time, but that counts. Every second counts. Good, good, good. All right, let's come over. I think that gave Melanie Warrior her experience. Yeah, that gave her her experience. So what does she look like now? Horse experience points, still pretty low. Hmm, her health is really high though. And she's a Jorvik warm blood. All right, so I do need to get her some better gear as time goes on. <gasps> it's a little pony! It's a little pony with Christmas things on it. And there's an invisible horse. <laughs> Is that a thing? Can you have an invisible horse? Because that was an invisible horse right there, all right. Well, that was interesting. All right, so let's see. I think I'm pretty happy with everything. We're going to finish up a couple more of the quests, or at least one more of the quests really quickly, now that I know where the forge is. So let's go ahead. I know, right, Melanie Warrior? We're going to go and ride over to where that guy is. All right, there we go. And this is not a proper path, so I need to pay attention to the proper path. <laughs> I should have turned around to get to him. But it's actually a lot of fun riding through the forest. I'm not going to lie. I really love it. All right, slow down here, slow down here. Hello, Conrad. I have the tools for you, sir. Apparently, I'm a little bit, little bit far away from you, so let's try it this way. Whoops. Never mind, now I'm back on Melanie. You're gonna have to speak to me here, sir. Ha, huh, you're an angel, Saga. This is indeed a great day. I'm so happy you were able to find all my tools. All right, so we've completed that. And what is this? What do you have over your head now, sir? Come back to me tomorrow. Then I will start working on some really nice horseshoes. All right, good. The quest is not available until the next day. Please come back tomorrow. When you, ha when you have missions that will not be available until the next day, you can spend the night at different places around Jorvik instead of waiting. Most stables have a place to stay. It costs star coins, but then you don't have to wait until the next day. Complete as many missions as you can before spending the night. The number of missions each day is different. Some days have many, some days can only have one. Ooh, well that's pretty interesting. All right, well, I think we're good for now. We've taken good care of Melody today. And she's pretty happy. No, I'm lying. She's miserable. <laughs> so we're going to try to make her happier uh, as time goes on. But I'm going to go ahead and slow down with Melody. There you go. I wonder, if you spend the night here, then does that mean that I can take care of Melody tomorrow and she'll be happier? If that's the case, it might be worth trying to spend the night later. So we might do that later. We'll see how she is. Otherwise, I'm having a fantastic time exploring, going on <laughs> missions. I don't think I knew I signed up to be like part of some shady business like sabotage and corporate sabotage when we came here as a stable hand. But you got to do what you got to do. And I really hope we can make Melody happy. And I'm loving this. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.